I think we all can agree it's time to get back into some gaming news, some news, some rumors, all of that jazz. And we, of course, have some Nintendo Direct speculation that is based upon something Nintendo themselves have done. Now, I got this story from Nintendo Life, but it's actually been circulating uh, for, I don't know, multiple days now all over social media and all that. But I felt like I'm going to give Nintendo Life credit because I love their website. I love their YouTube channel. And they're just a bunch of really great people. So shout out to Nintendo Life. Let's look at them. Link to them as well down in the description. Oh, and by the way, we're giving away a PlayStation 5, a Nintendo Switch, or an Xbox Series X. To enter, head down to the description or to the pinned comment. Get all the details, all that jazz. We'll be announcing the winner in a live stream at the end of the month. Hey, we might even give away two of them if we somehow miraculously hit 70,000 subscribers in the month of January. All right, folks, let's get into this story. So as you see here, it says Nintendo Direct Archive appears to have been updated, and it's got some fans excited. Now, this happens, actually, by the way. The archive gets updated, spots get made, changes are made to the page pretty much every single time a new director is about to come. So that's where the speculation comes from is the page was updated and in it being updated while we see no visible changes, typically that's something on the back end getting ready to launch a Nintendo Direct. So here's what the article says. It's been a while since Nintendo held a proper Direct. You can say that. September 2019. Um, you can go all, I think, back to April or May uh, when they did a Nintendo Direct Mini, a real Nintendo Direct Mini, but going on. Uh, so when would the night next broadcast take place? According to a post over... The Gaming Leaks and Rumors subreddit, there might be one on the horizon. Now, we've already talked about how Nintendo's have one in every single January except for 2016. So, something's brewing. With the assistance of Vizio Spark, which is a website that is able to monitor when other websites were last updated. You know, they go through the code base, they can tell when, when files have changed. It's been discovered the Nintendo Direct Archives was modified on multiple occasions last week. So, not just once. Not just twice, several times. In saying this, it could just easily be a false flag. As another post in the same thread points out, the page seems to be regularly updated. But who even knows anymore? And for regularly updated reasons, I mean, the page also handles all of the minis they've had, like the, uh, the, the partner showcases, all that jazz. The page handles a bunch of different stuff. So it being updated regularly when Nintendo's actually been regularly having partner showcases, Indie Worlds, all that, um, isn't that surprising? but take that for what you will. While Nintendo has revealed some of its lineup for 2021, obviously fans are eager to find out what else it has planned for the year. Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury is also out next month, and there's still things to learn about that. So obviously we presume there's a direct or some sort of presentation happening for that game. The last uh, direct Nintendo held was for its theme park, Super Nintendo World, towards the end of last year. Before then, it held a series of mini direct showcasing partner games uh, what do you think? Could this minor webpage update to Nintendo's Direct Archive be a sign of things to come? What do you want from the next Nintendo broadcast? Share your thoughts down below. Love you, Nintendo Life. Thank you so much for this information. So what do I think about this? I think it's definitely a sign something's going to happen. The question is, I don't think the question is, are we going to get a video presentation called a Direct or a Showcase or whatever this month? I think it's a given that it's going to happen. The question is, what will it be about? Is it going to be a massive general direct, which, man, my hair is messy today. Uh, is it going to be a massive general direct like we hope for it to be? Or is it going to suck? Is it going to be, I shouldn't say suck. I I don't know. Is, is it going to be something that we maybe want less of, like another partner showcase? Is it going to be uh, something major? I, you know, are we going to get major DLC? Is it going to be like a Zelda 35th anniversary thing like they did for Mario? Or a Metroid 35th anniversary, which I don't think they're going to do that quite yet. Even though this year is the year of Metroid's 35th anniversary as well. Are we going to get something even crazier? Like crazier! Um, that leads to us knowing the entire 2021 lineup. Because after all, after, uh, I, I guess, Monster Hunter Rise, we don't really know what exclusives are coming to Switch the rest of this year. Uh, and Super Mario 3D World isn't even a new exclusive game, although Nintendo treats them like it is. Uh, I can't blame them since the Wii U flopped so poorly. They clearly are going to treat it like it's a new game. Plus, there's the new content. And I am excited about the new content. In fact, that new content is precisely why I'll be picking up the game, in addition to the fact that I really enjoyed 3D World. I know not everyone it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I personally really enjoy 3D World. So... 
I'm really excited about what this could be, if it's anything. Them updating the website to me, it happens all the time, but Nintendo's been having a lot of these mini smaller things all the time, including that most recent Nintendo World uh, Direct. So I, I honestly think that this does mean something's going to happen. I just don't know what. Uh, so I'm interested in what you guys think it is. In fact, I'll probably put a poll up later today on the channel, uh, in the community section asking you guys, Hey, you know, if there is a direct this month, what, what, what do you expect? A general direct, a mini, um, a showcase, partner showcase, a, uh, individual game direct for like, you know, Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury, which comes out in February. Uh, do you expect it to be like another Pokemon direct or something? Uh, what, what could this be if there is anything at all? Because... I'm just ready for something. I think we are in 2021. We're ready to move forward. Uh, we have a vaccine out there for the pandemic. God knows when it's going to actually get around and everyone's going to have it. Sounds like it could be two or three years. Although most of the most critical people should get it this year um, are elderly and all that. Sounds like they're mostly going to be taken care of this year. But the rest of us might have to wait a while. But the rest of us are also the lowest risk. So maybe we end up getting back to some sense of normalcy this year. If that can even happen. What? what I don't even know what normal is going to look like once we're past the pandemic and we take down the restrictions and we're not saying you wear a mask in every store. I don't really know like what normal is going to look like. Maybe, maybe that is the new normal. Maybe we're never going to just not wear masks in public anymore. I have no idea. What I do know is we're ready for fresh new news content information. This is why a lot of us are getting kind of hyped for a potential direct because we're looking towards Nintendo, which is the company that's just at the top of the heap in terms of selling. We're looking towards them to lift us up and start 2021 strong. And letting us know some major games coming this year would be a great way to start off 2021 for many of us. This isn't a discount what's going on with PlayStation 5. Yes, they have the Ratchet and Clank stuff coming soon. And man, does that game look so freaking good. It's just so little of us have a PlayStation 5 to really fully experience the masterpiece that that game likely is going to be. Obviously, we need to hear some news from Microsoft as well. They need to, at some point in 2020, 2021 here, tell us what we're going to get. They've teased a bunch of games, but none of them have been given like release dates or timing. So we really need to know. I'm not just talking about Halo Infinite. I mean, there's games I'm more excited for from them than Halo Infinite. You know, Rare's next game looks utterly intriguing to me. Uh, can't forget Medium. Man, that game looks great. Like, I, I'm really excited for what, what they have in the works too. But Nintendo is right now the lead platform worldwide. 80 plus million in sales. Just past the 3DS. It's time, Nintendo. It's time you Tell us what the hell we can expect this year, or at least tease things that we can hopefully look forward to this year. Like, if Breath of the Wild 2 doesn't come out this year, it's okay if you still tease it. We haven't seen it in quite some time, so it would be nice to have, like, something, especially in wake of Age of Calamity. Uh, also, Switch Pro, anyone? I mean, they could obviously mention Switch Pro. There's rumors that it's supposed to be coming out in March anyways. Rumors, reports, whatever. You know, who really knows? It could be a holiday thing, like the Switch Lite was. Beats me, but I mean, I'm all for some Switch Pro goodness, some Switch Pro amazingness. I mean, we've already got some like stuff coming from internal OS related things that we've talked about. Again, video up here. Uh, but anyways, that's what I got for you guys for now. Uh, we'll get to some other gaming news coming up. You know, there's always something brewing. This is, after all, the biggest entertainment industry in the world. In video games. All right, folks. I am Nintendo Robo Jets from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you don't mind. My hair is all all messy, and I'm just like wearing like a silly little old Under Armour shirt that's like the logo is like peeling off. And you know, it is what it is. It's a pandemic. I'm gonna wear some stuff I've had for a while sometimes. All right, folks. I'll catch you guys in the next video.